So it is still December 4th. <laughs> but I sent everything uh, that I had from this morning up for today because I don't know when I'm getting out of here. I had to come into the office, but it's like everything blew up and now I have like 10 projects that need to get done and everything is going sideways and it's Friday and I just want to go home. It's like three o'clock now and I have about five hours of work left to do. So I uh, figured I probably wouldn't, by the time I got home, would be too knackered to edit or anything like that. So I already had the stuff I had done early this morning edited. So I thought I'm just gonna throw that up. So uh, yeah, that's why it sort of ends abruptly. <laughs> Oh, or where I say, uh, so we'll check back with you later. <laughs> no, no, I won't. Uh, so anyway, I have to uh, go because um, the clock is ticking and I'm hoping my husband can get home early for the dog because um, she'll have been alone since I left at 11 this morning. So anyway, <laughs> oh, la la la. <laughs> Somebody delivered wine here for uh, some of our executives. <laughs> I shouldn't have told them it was here. I should have just taken it home with me. <laughs> All right, I've got to go. And uh, hopefully tomorrow is Saturday and I will be able to get the tree up and it'll feel a little more like Christmas. Um, so until then, uh, I will see you on Vlogmas day five. Good morning. It is, uh, actually I have no idea what time it is. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, da, da, da. 8.25 in the morning. Um, I'm just gonna, maybe, maybe. There, that'd be a little better. <laughs> um, so yeah, 8.25 in the morning. I am gonna put my tree and decorations up today, but I'm <laughs> I'm having a bit of a slow start. Um, I woke up and I had like this like monster headache right there. So I know I'm dehydrated. So of course I had coffee. <laughs> well, I mean, I did have coffee because <laughs> I don't start my morning without coffee, but I had like two glasses of water ahead of time it's starting to kind of go away now but I'm just reading like I'm finding it really hard to get in the Christmas mood this year which I I don't think I'm alone in that but I am reading this morning that with another new 15 cases they're extending the restrictions for a week which means they're extended until December 16th and if we keep adding cases they're probably gonna be extended through Christmas I'm guessing which means we probably definitely will not get our family Christmas today nope not today this year well not today because not Christmas <laughs> so um, it's kind of like you know, sort of kills the whole Christmas vibe for me <laughs> but it will power through um, I'm hoping once I get the house decorated, because I find when when I have like the tree decorated, like when I sit in the living room with just the with the with just the tree lights on, I find it so there's something so calming about it. Like I could literally just sit there all day in the room with the Christmas tree lights on. I just find it very relaxing so I'm hoping that kind of if nothing else <laughs> lifts my spirits lifts my Christmas spirits a little um so yeah so I'm going to do that but I'm not gonna jump right into it I'm gonna kind of ease into my morning until my headache's completely gone um I made some good progress on the sock last night which is on the other side of the room because I changed up my location a little. I thought I'm mixing it up. <laughs> Give you another vantage point of the room. Uh, so I'm now 
what I did too is, oops, I'm gonna pull this forward a bit and hopefully don't topple things. Oh, I'll probably topple things. <sighs> Very professional setup I have here. Uh, the dog is in the kitchen right now because she was being a little bit of a pest. And every time I tried to do something, she was doing the whole hand grab thing because she wanted attention. I think the, I, would, I was going to say, I think the sun went behind a cloud, but it's literally all cloud out there and nothing but. <laughs> Give us a little more light. Um, oops, oops. I'm gonna... So what I did was the foot was looking really big. Now I know he's got big feet, but I think this part didn't look so big or oversized because it was ribbed. But this is 56 stitches here. And when I decreased for the um, gusset down into the foot, I went down to um, 48 stitches um, just to give like a bit of a better fit. So I'm hoping it's so hard. I find it's really hard knitting for somebody who has feet that you have no experience with. I mean, his foot length is about 11 and a half inches. So I do have a little ways to go. <laughs> um, like right now, this is longer or about as long as my foot. <laughs> And we're only to about probably midfoot on him or something. So I find it really, I'm always nervous. Like last year, what I did was I made the one sock and gave it to him for Christmas because I wanted to make sure the size I had done fit because his feet are just like, they're gigantic. <laughs> um, so, and it's not like I see his feet all the time. <laughs> He's usually wearing shoes um, to get a sense of, no, this looks like it'll fit his foot. So I did knit one sock um, and then made him try it on and then tell me if that fit. And I think I had actually knit like the leg because I was pretty confident the leg part would fit. It's the foot part that I wanted to make sure it was like wide enough and long enough or not too wide, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I really kind of wish I'd kept measurements, but I didn't think I'd be knitting another pair of socks for him <laughs> this Christmas, so I didn't. Um, so yeah, I'm really hoping that this fits. And I'm kind of tempted to do the same thing I did last year is like knit him the one, tell him to try it on. <laughs> and then I'll do the second sock, like kind of like over the holidays after Christmas, after he tries it on. <laughs> so yeah, and I'm also worried. I'm still worried I might not have enough yarn so I'm considering doing um, the toes maybe in a different color just to kind of buy me some yardage with this stuff because well I it's yeah I don't know I'm a little nervous about that so got a mess of <laughs> so I'm not sure yeah that might be what I do. Which means I have to go find some contrasting yarn. I think maybe I might have some gray, but I don't know how that'll look. I'll have to find one. It does have blue in here. I may be able to find something close to that blue, but I'm going to have to double strand it. So yeah, I'll have to see what I I'll have to see what I can find. Cause a lot of my sock yarn isn't 
like solid color. It's, it's usually like speckled or variegated because um, that's what makes socks fun <laughs> for me. Uh, so yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Anyway, this is kind of long and rambly. I was just going to pop in for a minute and say, hey, here's what we're doing today. <laughs> uh, I may also bake some bread today. I found a no yeast bread recipe I want to try. Um, just so it's like quick and easy bread that you can eat right away and not have to sit there and wait for it to rise. Uh, so I might try that. I might do that tomorrow. I have this tendency of thinking I'm going to do all of this stuff in one day. And then this evening my writing group is doing like a virtual Christmas party. Um, so I may do that as well. I would like to attend. I just, I think it's like a couple hours. I don't know if I have that much time. Um, but I might, we'll see. I might pop in for a little while anyway. Uh, and that's about all that's going on today. So uh, I'm gonna get a second cup of coffee because I feel like I need a little bit of a uh, <laughs> mental <laughs> boost, energy boost. Um, it's another rainy day outside <laughs> which I just it's a little give me a little snow give me a little snow give me some cold weather like I had a friend that was out went for a walk in a t-shirt yesterday it's you know honestly come on I don't know if it was yesterday actually yesterday well it might have been yesterday maybe it was the end of December or end of November he did it but he was a walking in a t-shirt I don't want t-shirt weather in December. I want cold weather. Bring me some cold. I want to wear my heavy sweaters <laughs> and my boots and my scarves, my hats. Like if I can't have a proper Christmas, I at least want some snow. <laughs> okay, so that's everything for now. I will check in with you guys when uh, probably when it's time to put up the tree after I drag everything from upstairs and downstairs. So I will check in with you guys later. Happy Vlogmas Day 5. <laughs>trying to get back far enough I'm literally on the far corner of the couch standing up um so the tree is decorated I do not have the tree skirt on as you can see because somebody likes to retrieve blankets so I am going to wait until the barrier shows up and then I may put a few more decorations here, although the barrier may cover them. We've got like a little kind of fence metal barrier that I'm going to put around the tree. Um, and then once we've got that, I will put the tree skirt down around here. And yeah, so I'm going to turn the lights out and see what it looks like. Actually, before I do that, I'll give you uh, a look at some of the decorations. This is a... Uh, my first dog, Cooper, who was just like, you know how you have that one dog that's just, you know, your dog? That was Cooper for me. So that usually gets front and center every year. Uh, down below that is uh, 
John and I. <laughs> this is our wee Highland Coo that we got when we were in Scotland. These are the Waldorf Angels that my sister made me. And this is the sea glass angels that she made me. So there's, I think I have six of those. I have two of those. The other one is somewhere over here. There. Um, and I may move that one a little more front and center because I love those ones. I love to be able to see them. Um, my little knitter that my mom got me. Um, a lot of these my sister made me, like she made the, um, where is it here now? She made the partridge and the pear tree to go with it, so I have two each of those. Um, I made that one, it was just a little painting. <laughs> I didn't actually carve it out, <laughs> let's be honest. Uh, this is, seems to be everybody's favorites, are the clothesline with uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus's clothes hanging to dry. And um, I like my little mice, I like these guys. And uh, my sister also made me these owls, and these are perfect because even though this is like an artificial tree, there's always these bald spots. So I've got the Waldorf Angel in one and then I've got like the owl and the other owl and the other owl oops filling up little bald spots <laughs> so they're perfect for that um let's see my sister made me the little thimble santas there's a few of those kicking around there's another one um I made uh, this thimble one and this little thimble one and my sister made me I'm pretty sure this one's from Allison where it's got a cork on it <laughs> so, so I'm pretty sure that one was from her um, let's see what else I think that's kind of the main ones Let's turn out the other light. It's noon hour and uh, it's a dreary day, but you probably won't get the full effect until tonight. So I'll take another picture later on and post it tomorrow from the dark. But there we go. It's feeling a little more festive. Since I usually park myself in the corner here, this is sort of my view. Oh. <laughs> That's usually my view too. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> big head. So I don't have the other um, decorations up around the house and I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, the barrier is supposed to arrive on Monday. The dog hasn't actually been too bad today. She was just kind of sniffing things, like she'll go up to the tree and she'll sniff it. But she hasn't tried to grab anything off the tree, which is good. Uh, but I don't trust her not to do that when we're not here. Because <laughs> she's still only a year old and, you know, she's a retriever. So she's going to want to retrieve things. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll put the decorations up around the house tomorrow. Um, and for now, it's only noon hour. It's not even noon hour. It feels like it should be three in the afternoon. <laughs> My husband's gone out to get groceries. I haven't even had breakfast yet, I just realized. So I think I will fix myself some breakfast. And um, I think I actually have a lot on on here <laughs> to to edit right now for today so I think what I'm going to do is um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit what I have and put it up so I can get it up this afternoon and then um, go from there because there's really not gonna be much else going on today <laughs> Because I'm going to park my butt uh, in the corner of the couch where I am right now and try to get some Christmas knitting done and find um, 
figure out what yarn I'm using for the mitten patterns that I need to do. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I will cap this off today. So happy Vlogmas day five. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.